All right, and thank you to the Cactus Cuties uh, for that outstanding rendition of the National Anthem. Best I've ever heard. Well, let's go ahead and take them down through the lineup here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Landon Huffman on the pole here tonight with a solid 30.618. Starting on the outside in that number 25 machine tonight, Scott Heckard. In number three position, Alan Lewis. On the inside, on the outside of him, in that number four position, the number one of John Gregorio, David Lanza, who won at Daytona last week, starting on the inside in fifth position, on the outside of him in sixth, Adam Roberts. Starting in seventh position, Dwayne Vincent in that number 13 machine, Chad Cole in that number 17 DeWalt machine, he'll be starting in eighth on the outside. Back on the inside, Jeff Addison starting in ninth position, that number 94 machine, and in tenth, Steve Ritter in the number 16, Dakota. Starting 11th in the number tw 22, we have Ronnie Potts. On the outside of him, Bobby Terrell. On the inside of the next row, Eric Arnold in number 47. And outside of him, Steve Gatschel. And in, in the inside of the next row, we have Greg Netherwood driving for Go Joey Gatina this week. And on the outside of him, Tony Kaler. Uh, in 17th position, we have James Mullins. And on the outside of him, Jimmy North. On the ne uh, next row on the inside, Jay Horton looking for a good finish tonight. And on the outside of him as well, in the number 26, Jonathan Goodell. Guy Snyder with a solid second place finish at Daytona last week on the inside, 21 in 22nd position in the number two machine, Matt LaCrosse, R.C. Rigdon, he'll be starting 23rd tonight on the outside of him, and 24th is going to be Mike Montesi, Jason Elrod, he'll be starting in 25th position on the inside, outside him the number 10, John Abbott, in 27th position on the inside, Todd Granger. Doug Roth, they'll be starting in 28th position in that 43 car on the outside. Ed Williams Jr. starting 29th in the number 65. Outside him, it'll be Bruce Perry in the 30th position. In 31st, we'll have Jay Randall Watkins in the number 3. Outside of him, the 85 of Nathan Bowers. And then a guy that you usually see up front who did not qualify, R.J. Williams. And we have Patrick Cahey and uh, Joseph Hayes. All right, and uh, let's uh, take it real quick down to Pit Road. Let's go to Ben Kilcrease for an update from uh, Crew Chiefs down there. Ben, uh, what are you hearing down there? J.D., I'm not really hearing that much. They're just hoping there's not as much cautions in this race as we've seen over the past week here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. It should be a great race. Only looking for one stop today on fuel. All right, one stop. Uh, on fuel here tonight, but uh, I'll tell you what, uh, tires may be an issue uh, as we get ready to go green flag racing here tonight. Pretty wide, looked like the 81 got a bad restart there, kind of bunched everybody up, and he just gets a nice little love tap, boy. And I believe this is uh, Tad's first race here with uh, RSR, and uh, wow, what a way to break him in. Takes a big hit from the two car as well, and of course, you see the 20 car uh, down there, he's still sitting down there on the. I think that. You know, the long run's really not going to help anybody, especially with the handling of his cars, the way it seems. 46 laps in the books here at New Hampshire, guys, and uh, it's got that single file look to it already. Now, as the uh, caution comes out here again, I'm hearing it's the three car. It's going to be uh, Watkins in 21st position, guys. Roll it backwards here a little bit, and it uh, looks like he had some help, too. I think it might have been out of the 88 machine, uh, John. It looks like they uh, make contact coming into the turn here, and the three car just gets uh, out of shape, and around it goes. All right, let's take it on down to uh, Magic Figures for the E-Wine. John, show us what happened, bud. Let's see if we can see what happened to the three car. And like you said, Jetty, I think I've seen him get a little help. Might have been for that 88 machine. I'm not quite sure, but we're he's going to come into the corner. That 88 is going to overdrive it a little bit, come underneath, and the three is going to come down just ever so slightly. They're just going to make contact here, guys. Nowhere for either one of them to go, really. Three cars going to back it into the wall ever so slightly. Not a whole lot of damage, but you got to love seeing that three machine out there, J.D. You bet. I'll tell you what. Uh, who's going to finish second? Hal Beardsworth. Uh, I think that rings a bell, doesn't it? <laughs> Other people might think it has something to do with uh, some other famous guy, but uh, John and I know what that number three car uh, is famous for. But that's going to bring uh, quite a few of them down pit road, guys. Uh, kind of half and half here. Take it on down to Ben. Ben, what's happening down there, bud? Yeah, guys, it was a hard call. Down here and figure out where it came from. 
I'm seeing a 65 car, Ed Williams Jr., guys, uh, back here about 29th position. Uh, he's going around, but actually it started way up in front of him. It's going to start with that number three machine and the number four, guys. In fact, I believe the number three got wicked loose coming off the turns, can't hang on to it down the front stretch, heads to the outside wall. Here comes the four car. They connect, and that just starts the, uh, starts the chain reaction right here in front of the fans on the start-finish line. Let's take it on down to Magic Figures John Weston for the E-Wine. And let's see if we can see what happened in that beautiful three Miller Genuine Draft Machine we were just talking about earlier. Maybe we gave him the ETV Jinx, J.D. He's going to come through the corner here. That car seems like, like it's leaning off lots of the right. He just snaps loose like we've seen the last caution here. Four cars right behind him. He's trying to woe up, but he's going to make contact with a three. Kind of airlift the back of that machine around. Wow, the 69 is going to come right through the middle and kind of get sandwiched, guys. Wow, there's an e-ticket ride. Uh, ought to jump in the uh, jump in the passenger seat of that 69 car and go for a ride looking out the windshield. <laughs> it's in that. Ooh, hard hit. John, what do you got for us, bud? Queued up now, guys. See if we can see what happened here. The 15th on the inside, 88th behind him. They're coming through the corner here. Everything's looking good. 88 almost makes contact coming through that corner. They're going to come back down the back stretch here, guys. Coming into turn three, and I oh, that 88 is right awful close. They can both ride up really high in the wall. 15 is going to come off turn four here. Still racing hard with that 88. We got a we got a three wide sandwich. That 19 car, 15 car is going to take a hard lick. 88 and 16. 15 is going to pinball off the inside. It's going to be it. So the next flag caution is out, and the race is over. RJ Williams is going to pick up the trophy here tonight as the caution comes out for the last time at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. And I'm hearing that it happened way in the back, guys. Uh, We're going to roll around on the restart here. It looks like somebody just got checked up on the restart here. 91 machine of Steven Gottschalk in that 18, in 18th place in that 91. Uh, watching them on the restart here. Oh, they get all shaken up going down right here uh, just past the start finish line. And uh, something happened way out in front of the uh, 91 car, John, and they just get completely whacked out of shape up here. Of course, the 91 car is going to uh, pick up the brunt of that. Look at that three car, J.D. He made it to the end. <laughs> we see that car demolished a couple times today. Yeah. J.D., that I believe you said the 91 picking up the brunt of that. Well, the 21 picking up the win tonight. This race will be over as they're on the white flag lap under uh, under caution here, J.D. You bet. R.J. Williams uh, going to pick up the trophy here from New Hampshire tonight. And I'll tell you what... Uh, what a uh, what a uh, what a race this has been here tonight. Let's count it. Uh, let's see, 16 cautions here tonight. So uh, roughly, uh, well, let's see. Uh, somebody get a calculator out. I don't know. I don't know if John's even bought any uh, batteries. He's calculated up here or not. But uh, why is it always John's fault? I mean, why can't it be JD's what? fault? You're retired. Why can't you take your old butt to the dollar store and buy some cheap batteries? Well, you. You keep the book around here. You always blame on me, old man. <laughs> <laughs> In better news, guys, Steve Ritter didn't get caught up in that last caution.